Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss on white box testing. So what is white box testing? What are the various different types of uh, white box testing uh, is available in software testing? Before proceeding further, if you have visited uh, Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please uh, click on subscribe button so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help to enhance your testing skills. So Testing Shala focuses morely on into software testing area and it publishes uh, software testing related uh, videos that would help you to enhance your testing skills. So let's move on to understand what is all about white box testing. So white box testing is nothing but is also called as a glass glass box testing. Glass box testing or it is also called as a clear box testing. So let's understand when we are going to adopt the white box testing. So white box testing is when you are going to study or to test an application where when you are testing any application or any code you should know internal details of the code. Let's say you wanted to test function calculator. This you wanted to calculate uh, no how the calculator works. Now, if you wanted to understand how internally it is going to operate, then you should test using white box testing. Let's take, exam take an example. I am going to give input A and B, right? So A and B and internally it calculates, let's say you talk about multiplication multiplication now when multiplication is a cross uh, b is, is equal to the new number which is c now when you are passing uh, a is 2 and b is 3 then answer would be it is 6 2 cross 3 is 6 now this is more on the block box testing now internally what it does so internally what all the things it does whether it does a star operation or uh, it does uh, any other validations right then if you wanted to understand that then you should know internal details of that application to test in terms of white box testing perspective let's say you wanted to understand another example i'm going to give let me give another example a is uh, greater than b so basically let me give an example which is the, the largest uh, number which is a large is a program which you wanted to test using white box testing now a is greater than b then uh, a is bigger else uh, c is sorry else b is big this is what you wanted to find out now now if you wanted to find out like this which one is the largest element then you should write a code if a if a is greater than b then a is equal to big else b is equal to big something like that now we wanted to validate how this internal structure of the code for the function large numbers how the large number is getting calculated then being a tester you should know internal details of the code how the internal operation it performs then only you can write a 
enough test cases. If you do not know the enough test cases, then you should only be thinking on the block box perspective and you may not be able to cover good amount of test coverage, which is we can do it more on the internal code perspective. Hence, this is in different kinds of testing which we are going to do is which is nothing but white box testing. White box testing that is a reason which will be used morely into validating the code perspective. So, for being a tester, if you wanted to test an uh, white box te techniques, then testers should know in and out of the coding background. They should have programming skills. Then once they are able to understand the program, then it is easy for them to write the test cases. Then let us understand what are the different types of white box testing is available. What are the different uh, types of white box testing is available? So let us understand what are the different types of uh, white box testing is available. One is code coverage. So here in this kind of testing, we will be validating what all the test case we will have to provide or we have to create that ensure as much as uh, testing is getting covered. That is one kind of uh, testing. Then uh, we will also have branch uh, coverage. Here as I was saying if A is greater than B then A is equal to B else B is equal to B. Right? Here there is a branch is happening if then else is happening. So that kind of testing we will be performing is called as a branch coverage testing where you are going to branch with a multiple. Then you have also called as a condition uh, coverage. So condition coverage here also it is the same uh, example where the condition here is if A is equal to B else A is equal then it takes a different path altogether. So that is called as a conditional coverage. So whatever the different coverage which, uh, which are going to make the code coverage, branch coverage or conditional coverage, these are all uh, doing uh, based on the internal structure of an application or a code. Then only you can make this kind of coverage. If you do not have enough uh, visibility on the internal code, it is very difficult to write the test cases for the white box testing. So we have also have data flow testing data flow. So here you are ensuring that how the data is flowing. Let us say A and B when you are passing to the function of a largest number module then data flow testing will be doing how the data is uh, moving from uh, uh, one stage to another stage to calculate the the largest number. So this can be done easily using debug options as well. If you wanted to debug step by step, you can uh, do the white box testing uh, by uh, processing the debugging skills. Then we have a path testing. The so path testing where we are going to validate all the paths. So it could be where we are going to give A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, C, then uh, what is the path? Then A is a small number, B is a uh, big number, then what is the path? Then A is equal to 6, na, six and uh, B is equal to 8, what is the path? Something like that. We will be giving different combinations of uh, data and we will test the uh, code in such a way that how the flow of the application and every movement with the different data it happens. So that is also going to perform as a path testing. Then we have a loop uh, testing. Loop testing is let us say uh, when you have a application where we have written the program, program with uh, uh, performing 100 times. Let us say if you wanted to iterate 100 times, let us say if you wanted to print uh, 100 times, 
this is the time the loop testing is going to help whether if I provide the input as a unread whether uh, it, uh, the testing can be done with that uh, different sets of unread sets of data multiple times so that is how the loop testing is going to work so with this uh, I hope you understood uh, what are the various uh, testing types available in the white box testing it could be code coverage, branch coverage, conditional coverage, data flow testing, path testing, loop testing. These are the various uh, testing we do it in white box testing. I hope you understood in detail about what is all about white box testing, what is white box testing and what are the some of the types of uh, white box testing which we perform on our day to day job uh, in the white box testing if you enjoyed watching this video please click on like button if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then testing shala youtube channel is focusing on software testing area and uh, as and when uh, you'll be get uh, if you click on click on subscribe so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox most related to software testing that would help you to enhance your testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care